Okay, we are back for, I think, episode 14. Like, I, I just do not keep track of these episodes. I just know I push that record button and I start talking and a lot of times it's nonsense. No shout- well, no, I'll give a shout out today, actually. I do have someone on the whiteboard. I'm gonna give a shout out to Risky TV, who is- he's been streaming a Dread Zone playthrough. And, uh, yeah, him and I have had chats back and forth throughout the- I would say halfway through the channel's existence. So I figured I'd give him a shout out. So what are we gonna do today? I would like to kill the remaining Plague Hearts today. Hopefully with enough time left to kind of get the beginning of the Traitor Legacy going. But first, let's start with destroying the remaining Plague Hearts, because if I recall, they are pretty spread apart. We also might not have the ordinance to destroy all three of them, although we could always get lucky with a, uh, they, they, you know, they could give us Willy Pete grenades or something. A question I was asked was, what is the best way to kill a Plague Heart? And I'm assuming that this is, if, if resources were not a, a question. Hey there, it's your neighbor's calling. Darn, I was hoping it would be daytime. I think the answer to that would be, if resources aren't a problem, it would be the BFG. Because I believe the BFG will slay a Plague Heart in eight rounds. And so if you have a BFG combined with someone who has gunslinging, so you can just immediately reload the magazine, it should be able to just go, because you, 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 you could snap off the five shots fully automatic, and then you could just reload and finish it off, and it would be... Very fast, very efficient. Very expensive though, like that would be a ton of ammo. So let's see, we've got some pipe bombs, got the bouncing Boris, which wasn't super great, but we can still use it. Hand grenades, we got some fuel bombs. We've got the explosive fuel trap. We've got two bottles of scent block, so we've got some supplies, but what we're gonna do is let's call in a daybreak trader. We'd like to do a bit of trade. And what we'll do is just buy some more explosives is just a cheap way to get some. Of course. We always have time to support our valued allies. Let's sell some stuff. Let's bring the flashbangs in case something dumb happens. I was hoping it would be daytime, because I remember doing all that work last episode at night, so I figured that, like, daytime mustn't be that far away. Where is this red talent agent going? Must be nice to be able to, like, walk on foot just down the road and not have to worry about getting attacked by zombies constantly. Low on fuel, but we do have a canister. Uh, where's the trader? So the trader's camping there. <clears throat> trader's usually pretty safe too, considering that they they come with the three bodyguards. So let's go ahead and just drive over there and do some trading. We actually don't have a ton of prestige points remaining, but that shouldn't matter because we're just going to be buying, like, the deployables and they're quite a bit cheaper than other things. But we should at least be able to buy, you know, the good, the good quality explosive stuff. Too bad we can't rearm on independent stuff. Like, I could definitely use, um... Some more incendiaries, like some more ammunition for the pyro launcher, which actually seemed to do pretty decently. So we need to talk to Chang. That's not Chang. This is Chang. Got anything good? Yes. Oh, they don't carry any influence at all. Jeez, I thought they carried at least some influence. Okay, so what do we want? We want... Let's try the remote rocket pods again. I mean, how, how expensive is a call in a one tw so we can't go below 125 because we need to always have at least one yes. one of those per day. So let's go with these. And we I don't think we can buy anything else unless we buy like singles. 
we could buy like so that's uh 180 divided by i think was that 60 each and that's all we can afford because that'll one more would put us below guess we can loot this place while we're here nothing to turn your nose up at sure why not Maybe it'll become day by the time I get to a play guard. Zippo. Game is playing some ominous music, which means there's we got a probably guard. something nearby. Where's the last lootable in this building? And Ladislav never shuts up about his personal quest. Come back safe. Must be like outside or something. Okay, it's a plague horde, but no juggernaut attached to it. Oh, overshot. I'm surprised those zombies didn't hear that gun discharge. Let me look at these other buildings real quick. Is there anything interesting about them? A food, uh, materials, and then the building that we initially investigated. Time to head back home. So let's see where the play guards are. Yeah, see, they're kind of like in this triangulated position. This one we'll probably do last because we have an outpost near it. This one we should probably do. So when there's daylight, this is the one we want to do at, at the beginning of daylight. Then probably this one and then that one. Okay, let's get out of here and head back to base. Yeah, I can already see that the darkness is lifting. And we are gonna have day back. So almost perfect timing. Not quite, but almost perfect timing for day arriving soon into the beginning of the episode. Oh, you are not getting back up. One thing I do like about the church is all those easy to get in through windows. Let's see if the community can cover me while I rearm. That'd be nice. I might call an ammo trader in. Yeah, I think that's what I'm one thing I'm gonna do. Let's call in an ammo trader. Because maybe they'll have some explosives that we can buy. Especially because we got we have a ton of uh, influence right now. I think we're getting the hang of all this. Let's use the pyro launcher and bring the rest of the pyro launcher ammo. Switch up to the strong painkillers. And we've got so many stimulants that we may as well just start using the stimulants. The remote bombs, those fuel bombs, hand grenades. Bouncing Boris, even though, like I said, it wasn't super impressive. The scent block, of course. I think I'm only gonna bring one scent block because, like, we can just change characters out and send different characters out on each each play guard attack. Let's just bring the pipe bombs. And while the traders getting here, we'll load up our vehicle.
Put the stuff that we are less likely to use. And let me add the fuel in. Infestation's popping up, but probably might be too late to matter if we can destroy all the play guards in this episode. It might not matter. Because then we can just focus on the legacy and get out of here. Uh-oh. They might kill the traitor if that's a jug. I'll be back in a while. That is not good, and this is not a weapon that's good against jugs. Jugs are completely fire resistant. Uh, what do I do to kill this guy? First, I guess I'll distract this zombie. Gotta stay away from the sick fucking seas. Oh, now he's on me. Oh, that's actually not a bad thing. We can kind of lure him into the building now. Get him off of the traitor. We're too focused on the day to day. I heard him grunt. So that money got staggered. There we go. Practically paid off the cost of calling in the uh, the traitor since the traitor took a hundred and. 125 influence. Okay, let's see what you got. Yeah, why not? Um, didn't have anything in the way of explosive ordnance. No hand grenades or anything like that. Uh. Do we want to buy a heavy-duty ammo? For, do we have... Let me check to see if we have that mod already. Uh, no, we don't have it. Got anything good? Yeah, why not? We could take the ammunition... ...and then just start making our own stuff. Put it in storage for now. Got anything good? Yeah, why not? And if we buy those... that 50 caliber ammo, that actually... that's actually enough to kill some of the play guards. And then we could actually physically use one of the VFGs. We've earned their trust. Don't piss that away. Let's take that. Still have a thousand influence, and destroying those play guards will increase it further. Let's put the bullets away. And the samples. Let me check to see if we have a BFG sitting in there. Okay, we don't. That means everyone is equipped with our BFGs. I think I'm gonna buy the ammo press as well. Got anything good? Sure, I guess so. Heavy duty ammo press. Well, yeah, let's take that's it. That's pretty heavy. Let's just throw it in here and then send it in. Okay, so let's call in a fuel tank. Okay, we're good. Feels good. Make sure that we have scent block. Yes, we do. Let's deactivate this quest so it doesn't distract me. I want to use the swapping out at outpost feature again. But, you know, I'm kind of... I mean, I shouldn't be nervous about it just because I know the game doesn't simulate combat when you're out of range, so... There's no reason I shouldn't be able to swap out characters without having to, like, absolutely go back home, because that would shorten our rearming time down quite a bit. Now I need to mute my computer so that sound effects don't bleed in.
I'm enjoying the speed of the vehicle. I definitely. I mean, I, I mean, I was. I'm not unhappy with the truck, but I definitely like that. Like for this thing, only having one less inventory slot in the trunk. Like this is a great speed, amazing speed, or amazing cargo carry for the speed is more specifically what I'm getting at. Better have our fuel stores where they're supposed to be. Like, that's one of the things we're constantly running low on. Switch to the scent block. Let's put it on. Ugh. Being this close to a plague heart always gives me the creeps. Sure let's try... Down to the last one. one of those and let's start lighting it up. Oh man, that's... I think you guys are gonna nod your head at that one, like that was... That's efficient. That's efficient. We heard the feral, but didn't see him. That's gonna slow me down. Kodiak, I've never had the regular Kodiak. I've, I've always gotten the rare Kodiak, but never just the standard one. Let's just use these, because we're just going to abandon that stuff, because it's kind of in a hurry. I will grab that sample, though. I will kill this feral as well. This is how you deal with the ferals with this weapon. You just kind of fire one shot at them like that. And the, the burning won't kill him immediately. But, so the reason you need to duck like that is to stop yourself from shooting. Because the, the rule of this weapon is that once you start shooting, it just continuously fires until you either run out of ammo in the, I guess, the magazine. It's not really a magazine, but we'll just call it a magazine colloquially. Uh, or you have to interrupt yourself. So what you do is you shoot one round or one firework at it. And then after that, you just immediately duck. And then, uh, you know, you let him burn for a little bit, and then you shoot him one more time as he's getting back up, and you just constantly keep him trapped in his uh, burning animation. Because he'll, you know, he'll stop, drop, and roll. Very, uh, very efficient way to kill ferals, but just keep in mind that it's a noisy weapon because it shoots out distractions. It basically shoots out mini firecrackers. I wonder if I'll have the time to rush a second play guard. I, I was under the assumption that I would have to just use one... one application of scent block per heart, but... I wonder if we can get there in time. Especially with the speed at which this kills the, the hearts. Let's give it a shot since we're here. Plant the charge. And start running it. I had a feeling I'd be a little too close, but fortunately it didn't really do a lot of damage to me. Man. Barrel's a little late to the show, but, you know... Guess he's like better late than never. Bloater is gonna get caught on fire, which makes him explosive. Making great time. I didn't think I'd be able to actually kill a second plague art in that time frame. But I'm quite happy with that. Medicine. Dillinger Pattern 1911. I don't remember that. For a second, is that a World War II DLC weapon? But no, it was called the Surplus. Let's use one of these because we're going to abandon that. We'll just keep the uh, that the rest of the stuff we're just gonna abandon. 
Now, since we have to go across town, we may as well just physically go home and change characters out. Since this character has, you know, a little bit of blood plague infection. Might as well let him rest it off. Leave a comment down below if you're impressed with the, uh, the pyro launcher. One of our uh, commenters got a great name too. Fox is the best. Yes, he certainly is. Uh, he actually suggested that I try the weapon. And uh, I had intended to use this weapon just because I was like, oh, you know, why not? I'm going to use independence weapons. But he like endorsed it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to prioritize the usage of the weapon. And that's exactly what I did. I am pretty satisfied with its performance, too. I had no idea that it would be uh, as effective as it is against play guards. Given that I kind of felt like explosive weapons were the way to go against play guards, but perhaps there are some incendiary weapons that are worth trying. Like, for example, the, the napalm grenades, I didn't give them, no, thermite grenades. I didn't give the thermite grenades a very good rating in my review, but what if that's because the thermite grenade is actually for... Because, like, the fire that the thermite grenade produces remains on the ground for a while. What if it's actually designed to destroy play guards, but it isn't something that's, like, really advertised? Like, the C4 is directly advertised in the item description that... It's like, it just gives you, like, oh, it'd be great to use this against play guards, but what if the... Thermite grenades are actually really good against play guards as well. Oh wait, I don't have my normal weapon, I forgot. Where's that zombie going? It's so weird, it's like, when they're around my allies, they just prioritize me, but I hear my by myself, they're like, banging on the gate. No you don't. Get snatched. Okay, let's put this medicine in. No problem. And let's transfer this over. No problem. Now we'll swap characters. Still need to level up your fighting at least one more, just so you have the maximum health bonus. So what is the Codex? Specialized semi-auto close quarters shotgun with a detachable box magazine, light and powerful, but with poor control and range. Not words I would typically associate with a shotgun, but hey, what do I know? Switch out weapons to something fresh. And return to this weapon. Let's send out someone else. Let's send out... Kilgore on the vain hope that he will get a little bit closer to becoming a hero status. So apparently this thing is a 3D printer. I, I don't remember who said it in the comment section, but in one of the videos they said that is a 3D printer. Folks here are pretty all right. I, I believe it. Yeah, I could, it makes sense that there'd be a 3D printer there. Let's go ahead and bring out Pyro Launcher, even though it is a bit low on ammo. Bouncing Boruses. Rocket Pods. Remote Grenades. Just bring in the good stuff. Should be more than enough to kill, like, one. Well, I don't know, maybe we could kill... Why don't we try... Reigns of Fire? Even though I think that one probably might be a little dangerous, because the Reigns of Fire is... It can spread. It can spread the flames a bit in a bit of an out of control manner, and since it'll be indoors, it'll be like out of control indoors. But hey, we'll try it because we're gonna have a full a full duration. Up oh, speaking of scent block, I just good thing I reminded myself we're gonna have a full duration scent block in order to test it. So like, oh no, we we can try it. Very good. And I'll just keep you this- I'll keep the pyro launcher on me to deal with the feral. Just cause like, it, it destroyed the feral very efficiently. 
But what are you doing? Sometimes the control on the characters gets all wigged out. Okie dokes, time to do some open heart surgery with fireworks. A whole bunch of screamers, just a ton of them. Hopefully this is the final <clears throat> play guard and they're not like pulling my leg about it. We'll know when we get to it though, like the character will make a remark that, oh, this is the... This is the final one. My external hard drive finally made it, even though I ordered it like over two weeks ago, it, it finally arrived. Like, geez, like, that's like one of the slowest deliveries I've ever had from Amazon. And that means that I don't have to look for some way to like delete videos in order to make space because I like to keep the original videos just in case I want to reference them, like cut some of their footage and splice it into another video. Like you never know when just having records of the, the videos you've made will come in handy. Technically I could rip them from YouTube, but having them in their original format is always the best. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see if this is the final one or not. Sent block on. Last of that. Yeah. I'm thinking we got a plague heart nearby. This might not be the last one because he didn't make a specific remark about it being the last one. Man, this place fucking reeks. Okay, where is it? Try rains of fire. One at a time. Oh, it's setting me on fire! Yeah, out of control fire! Out of control fire! Out of control! Ah, out of control fire! Did I mention that the reins of fire gets a bit out of control? Let's let let's go to the other side of the building. Look at all those sound waves. Like rewind it if you didn't catch it, but those sound waves went really far. I think there's a very loud distraction. Pretty long lasting flames too. Not sure how effective it is though. It's very effective at taking about 35% of my health away. We're getting influence for something. It must be like random hordes. Okay, so... Not too impressive. Fire in the hole! Bouncing Boris is next. Wait, that wasn't the bouncing boards, that was, uh... Ah, uh, set myself on fire again! Oh no, they're gonna set me on fire! Rolling around, rolling around, rolling around. Did I get him? Almost. Okay, let's throw a heavier grenade at him. Oh shit, that's the wrong type. Ah, uh, setting myself on fire. Let's use a pain pill. Okay, let's try this again. But put it next to the play guard.
This last play guard is finally down. Where's the feral at? Let's see if that was the last one or not. No, it was not. Okay. Guess we're gonna call in a Red Talon where the heck are the play guards command. You gotta be out there destroying plague hearts. No other option. Roger that. Red Talon will handle your request. Let's see what's in the heart. Raiders AR-15. That's the one I haven't seen before. Take some of those, take some of that. Med kits definitely take. Alright, let's get out of here. I didn't agree to take care of anything. Thing's almost out of gas, but I'd like to drive a little farther away somewhere. Where I'm not as under pressure, preferably. How about to my outpost? That's supposed to be a safe area. Drive far enough to get them to leash. Which this is probably far enough. Guess we're gonna find out where I missed a play guard. I think we're out of scent block, but we just picked up a decent amount of medicine, so... Right over there, so let's actually head back to base, since it's along the way. Then we can change out characters again. Let's let's see how, how much he got. Whoa, what... Are, look, at, look how much standing he gained from that. Like, are you joking? Like, uh, minus 66% standing? That, that seems more like ni minus 90% standing. Like, you, you know, like, I just don't believe it that killing the feral, killing multiple ferals at that. Ugh, oh, let's just drive. Oh, 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 I might get free. Oh, oh, this is a waste of time. Stuck. I know some people get mad when I don't try harder to free the vehicle, but if, if, I, if I can't get free in like one or two seconds, then I'm just going to use the stuck command because I'm not going to like fiddle with it and potentially waste several minutes. Uh, we need to turn around. So this large impassable mountain range on the side, that's one of the annoying things about Cascade Hills since it creates this large natural barrier that you have to drive around, which it, which consumes more gasoline and it consumes more of your time. Still got plenty of daylight, too. Hopefully this is the last plague art. It's just like last episode where, like, oh, you think you're done and then you're not done. There's always, like, a last one that sneaks in. Look at all those spawn-ins. Like, those could have been bloaters. Like, it was not bloaters, it was... Plague zombies, but it could have been bloaters. More spawn ins or pop ins or whatever you want to consider it. Put it in the back. Remember when 
and I used to call the mayor to tell the streets needed fixing. Now who do you call? Put all this stuff away. Keep the incendiaries though. Let's bring out a little bit more. Bring all of our incendiaries in case we need it to destroy the final heart. Okay, let's check. I am pretty sure we're at a scent block. Yes, we are, so we do need to make some more. There we go. Uh, wait, yeah, this guy isn't going out on the mission. What am I doing? I need to switch out again. Have him equip a... the automatic shotgun. I think that's what he was using. Let's send out... We're gonna switch the Lattice Lab and make him think that we're doing his quest for the police cruiser or whatever it is, but we're, we're actually not gonna do it. I could finally reload this weapon. Anyone listening? If y'all wanna make some deals, come on by. We can still use this weapon. Ten shots is still enough to kill a feral. Uh, what weapon am I going to use? RTX Crusher? Actually, is repaired a decent bit. I think it, I thought its repair bill was closer to, like, 20-something, so... Our... Passive repair bonus has been worthwhile on it. And we got pipe bombs and shit. We should be fine. Maybe I'll bring the BFG just in case. In case I need to shoot it once or twice. Now that's quite a load. Where's the ammo for it? There it is. Probably gonna call another gas can, which means we're just tearing through our fuel right now. Which is why it's good that they're not using up the fuel. Oh, I see. Yeah, there were some buildings right there that I had not encountered. Interesting. Or I had overlooked them. Let's not run the bloater over. Let's also mark the target. Like, I don't like how... You see how we have the waypoint now? For some reason, the quest markers, they don't give you waypoints. But on the heads-up display, you just have to look at your map. And I'm like, oh, that's stupid. I want a waypoint. Giving me a little bit of that Mare Valley action right now, where I can drive through the hillside. Let's get our scent block primed. It looks like I skipped past it. There it is. Oh, God. We're good. Is this the last one? We've worked hard to get this far. Yep. Just one more push and we're done. Let's set down the Time bomb. Take out the trash. Yeah, that's well, you're not a bathroom heart, I see. Let me get a little further back, actually. The end of that one. I'll have some more. Burns us. It burns us. us. Okay, enough fire, please. Thank you. No, no, I want this sample first. Give me the sample. Fine, I'll, I'll look at the play guard first. Oh, look at this. Bundle of premium fuel cans. 
870 sawed off. Let's take the med kits. No place to put it. I'm like 870 sawed off. That's like an uncommon weapon. It's not even that big of a deal. Give me the samples. I want the samples. In the truck, it's a military truck. All the fuel. Well, looks like we gotta put some stuff in the trunk. Let's just put the med kits in, and then we'll just grab the fuel tanks out. Alright, time to return home victoriously. How much time do we have left? We've got 20 minutes left, so we can start beginning the traitor legacy. I'm trying to think, like, what slowed me down in this episode. Uh, I'm not sure what part it was, but I felt like... We could have established our base faster. I think part of it was just getting slowed down at nighttime. Like, we just really had to grind it out at nighttime. That's something I still want to work on, is just finding better uses for nighttime and just instead of just grinding the night out every single time. I like the idea of scouting at night. Maybe that'll be the thing I do, like scouting with some selective looting. Our nighttime... Wait, let me put this in the base. Our nighttime infestation removal actually went pretty decently. Unload all this heavy gear. Back down to ordinary weapons. And the flashbangs, just in case. So now I, I know I need to, like... Don't I need to, like, talk to everybody, like... Or something? Define your community's legacy. Pursue your leader goals. Yeah, look at these. These are all external goals. Where is our major goals at? Ambient goals. Let me switch to my leader, I guess. That's kind of weird. It's not generating. I mean, like, maybe it takes a moment to kind of kick in. The engine bangers, that's just for a... That, that's not a essential quest. That's just for... Special delivery? Oh, 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 just random turn-ins. I was like, what the heck is he talking about? That's weird, why aren't they generating my missions? Wait, give me my crossbow back, Ladislaw. Like, I don't think it's my quest log being full, because I don't think quest log being full is a thing in the game. Now we can equip. Grab the flashbangs. And I guess, like, wonder? Everyone wants materials suddenly. Everyone's like, hey man, materials. I'll make my way over. Whew. 
Let me, let me get some bloater cloud grenades just in case some of these humans decide to get a little funky on us. I don't think any of these ones would, but I'm gonna carry a group just in case. I also want to upgrade to the heavier painkillers. I'm kind of amazed by how much we've already accomplished. This is gonna be kind of annoying, like if they don't actually activate one of my main quests. Because we just did it. Define your community's legacy. Pursue leaders' goals and leave your mark on history. Well, like you need to generate my my goals. You know, let's just log out and back in real quick. I might skip past this. I might just cut this part out. Alrighty, let's see. Let's well, first let's let the game load in. So mysterious broadcast was the first one to load in. I guess we can just go see what they want real quick. Don't have anything else better to do. Uh, I should have enough gas to get there. One thing that is kind of annoying about this car is that the fuel tank is not that big, so the one canister of gas is practically, it's like 90% of the fuel, so if you're not, if you don't want to waste fuel, you have to let it get pretty low, but allowing it to get pretty low is inviting the possibility of you running out of fuel. Well, I'm not sure what to do if they're not going to generate the quest. I guess we'll just do the existing quests and try to get through a few of them. Maybe I'll generate it afterwards. And these guys are like kind of out in the... where the heck are these guys located? Got my bloater bombs ready in case this guy has some funny business. Hello. Okay, it's a rescue mission. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Get the fuel out. A solar farm, huh? That sounds interesting. Looks like she's across that river, which is annoying because the river is actually pretty steep. This is a dead end, if I remember right. What do these guys want? Materials? Is there anywhere materials nearby? Let's just drive near them real quick. So I can look at my map in peace. Let's see if there's basically just an area with materials nearby. Right there. Grab some materials and give it to them, just to try to clear out our quest log. I don't even know if that's the problem, or if the game is just getting dumb on me. That'll be really, like, that'll bend me out of shape if I can't complete the legacy. So you better not flip over with a feral chasing us. Is he gonna keep following? Looks like he is. Ah, uh, he's chasing us further and further away, making this less and less convenient. Maybe we can get to this one.
I think we left them behind this time. He's still he's still going for us. And this guy doesn't want a leash. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go a little bit wide. And I'm just gonna double back to the first building that I wanted to get parts at. Market. There, that should allow us to get around the feral. Hopefully it lets us get around the feral. Let's check its last position. Yeah, it's decently far away. He's gonna get here any moment. Let's just deal with him. Actually, I don't want him to bang on the door, to be honest. Fighting to max. Swordplay, that's convenient. Maybe we can get our materials here, complete that quest, then go rescue Jan at the solar farm. Something. This is probably what's gonna have the materials. Well now, yep. wanna come home with me? Not sure if that was uh, innuendo or not, or if like she was talking about like a dog. Never heard that line before. Mm. Let's mark the people. And head on over. Didn't have to deal with that feral either, which is nice. What the heck did I hit? I need to give it to... who do I need to give it to? Ken? Or that person? I have no idea how to pronounce that name. You? You? Thanks for taking care of that. Have a good one. And there were no materials around here, if I recall. That's kind of weird, there's like, these guys want materials, like, right on top of each other. Whatever, man. Let's go rescue that... Jan character. Mark the location. And there's materials there, so we can grab the materials well. Actually, we want to grab materials first, and then... Rescue her since it will trigger the like zombie ambush. How do we get over there? Looks like we got to drive across the bridge. I could tell just by my voice that I'm not as energized today since I'm low on sleep. Still working on getting my sleeping pattern. Back to what it is. Not so bad that I can't play the game, though. Okay, where's the warehouse? Coming in. Shouldn't 
put up much of a fight. Yeah, let's try to get the materials first. I guess we're safe to look around. Well, this definitely looks promising for materials. All right. I guess we're not completely fucked. Always swearing, Kilgore. Always swearing. Okay, maybe this isn't looking as promising. Watch you give me fuel instead. I mean, I'll still take fuel, but... Oh, we got the materials. The zombies are pretty loud. They must be, like, right next to us. We got a horde, like, right there. You know what? I feel like I don't care. Armor zombie's gonna survive it. Oh wait, I've got... Forgot I can do this now. And look at them all. A whole bunch of them. Down to the last one. Now I can take my time with them a little more. What the heck was that? You can't grapple me when I'm in the middle of an execution. Ah. Uh, yeah, let me put this in the back. And also let me drive this closer so that we can escape the zombie ambush more efficiently. Let's turn the car around like this. Hope you're not stuck. All right. I know I didn't hear you. No getting cozy. We're not alone. Okay, continue talking. Can I not get up here? Can I not grab this? Can I grab the scent block? Oh my god, this game and it's okay. I got it. I know I didn't hear. You. We got a whole mess of zombies waiting for us out there. He's not coming, is she? Ah, <sighs> this game though. Surprised that didn't get the zombie off. Oh, oh, now she's free. We'll wait for her. Where is she going? To the bloater? Seems like a good idea. Anytime. Okay, I think it's safe to drive towards her. There she is.
Okay, so we need to head back. I guess we'll do this, we'll deliver that, and then we'll head home, defend against the siege, and call it quits. I'm mean, gonna make it a slightly longer episode than normal, but that's okay. We, we got a lot done, so I bet this is, yeah, that's right, I remember this having the problem of the guardrails are in the way. And the car just magically flips itself back over. It's fine. I'll take it. Better than Halo, you know. You don't even have to get out of the car and flip it over. It just flips itself. Careful. Got a barrel Darn. This must be like a gated community or something, because it's like... There's like that checkpoint there with the... The guards. Got you home. You really saved my biscuit there. Where is she? Is she in the vehicle? No. Where'd she go? Oh. She must have fallen from the sky. This game, though. More scent block? Sure. Now we'll deliver the materials. Still kind of bothered by the fact that it hasn't generated our legacy yet. Hopefully we can squeeze through here. We can. Looking for a guy named Ken. It's you. I appreciate that. We have for sale. We have pretty good stuff for sale, actually. Let's sell the boombox and buy. Okay, let's not sell that stuff though. So let's go put this in the trunk. That's weird. Are there like two communities stacked on top of each other here? Actually, let's just put some fuel in the vehicle. Hmm, I wonder why we're not getting our missions. We've got a minute and a half to get home, or we will lose ammo for them to automatically complete the zombie attack. Doesn't matter either way, since we've actually stocked up on ammo decently. I know people have talked about a problem where they can't find the last Plague Heart. I wonder if the reality of it is that they did destroy all the Plague Hearts, but the game has glitched up and it's not... ...generating their legacy missions. And so they're looking for a Plague Heart that doesn't exist. Because right now, it's like, I'm just thinking, like, what am I going to do if... What am I going to do if it's glitched up? Kind of an interesting cloud formation. Get ready. This is going to be one hell of a fight.
It's fine. Let's switch to this other melee weapon. The local infestation problems only getting worse. We've got zombies at the door. Very strange. Like, if there's a bug that's preventing people from completing their legacies, like, I would consider that a game-breaking glitch. Everybody back to position! They're still coming! got a screamer. Or like it sounds like we've got a screamer. Oh, I swung in the wrong direction. It's a pain. Oh my god, I can't get around him. Gotta eat. I said I gotta eat. There we go. Now we're gonna run in here and get some help. Oh, I just want to reload my gun. Where did the feral go? Oh, there he is. Now I got the distance on him. Oh, missed him. Know where my allies are? Not here. That is the answer. The correct answer is not... Oh, here they are. Oh, did they kill the feral? Did they actually do something useful? I don't see his body anywhere. I also don't hear him, though, so I think we can assume that... We got him. Where are the remaining zombies? Oh, it's a crawler. Yeah, I guess they got the feral. Wow, they did something useful for once. I have no idea, like, uh, I am concerned that the game could be glitched. And if the game is glitched, that is gonna be annoying. I would probably be more annoyed by it, but... I am so tired that I don't have the energy to be annoyed. Hey, look at that. Define your community's legacy. We do have a community leader, correct? Yes, here's our leader. I mean, yeah, of course we have a leader, considering we... We've been able to call in... You, holding up okay? you know what's interesting? Ladislaw has a quest over his head still. And I bet- I, I wonder if the quest is, like, bugged. Because he has a quest on his head still, which would typically be the one where you- like, What if I just talk to somebody? What if I could just What if it's like an invisible quest and I can still just talk to people and complete it? Hey there. Take it easy. No. It's not always available to every character you talk to, though. Let me just chat with a few other people and see. Like basically, we'll pretend like what is that like a? Okay, that was a. Be careful out there. What did she say? Now's a good time to you to touch base with the members. Okay. Switching to will initiate a new beginning. Look at that! Look at that! Okay, 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 okay. 
Let's take the quest. Things are working out way better than I expected. Okay, so we, we basically had to do some finagling in order to get the, uh, the quest. So let's talk to some people. That makes me feel like a lot- I'm not talking to you, Xavier. You're, you're the dumb-dumb. I'm not- I'm not going up there. I don't take too much effort. I don't want to talk to you either, Ladislao. You're annoying. I guess we're gonna climb up and probably talk to Kilgore. Who's on guard duty? Ilgor, the foul-mouthed. What should we focus on now the blood plague isn't a threat? Trade, we need to make contact with neighbors who have goods to exchange. Thought he was opposed. I thought he was one of my critics originally. The guy's always like questioning like the traitor decisions. Let's go find Eric. Where is Eric? It's so hard to find people. Oh, there's the symbol on now that his backpack is invisible. Yeah, the bio has... Oh, whatever, we're just gonna talk to Ladislaw, even though he's annoying. Now that we've defeated the Blood Plague, we should look for more people to join our community. Agreed, but our first priority should be to set up tr a trade network with our, net with our allies. Or with our neighbors, rather. Okay, so apparently that's all I had to do, was finagle the game a little bit in order to... Initiate that part of the quest. But we'll do the rest of it later. Definitely happy, though, that we were able to actually finagle it and get access to the quest. I, I was actually going through my head that I might have to restart, and that would annoy me. I would probably bring my main community in to basically power through the Plague Arts. But, no, it looks like the pay to win saga has not yet ended. I apologize for not being as uh, lively as I could be. Like I said, I'm super tired right now. But, overall, we did a great job. We tested out the Reigns of Fire. It did not work in my favor. Fun weapon, though, didn't work in my favor. The We confirmed that the Pyro Launcher... Very good, great performance, very happy with it. Kills Ferals pretty effectively, too. And then we had a strange issue where Ladislaw's quest was not trading up to Lin, our leader. But we were able to waste some time doing some quests we didn't need to, but I guess we caught up on quests. We were able to reinitiate it by switching off of our leader and back onto her. Maybe it was because we specifically switched to Ladislaw first. And there it is, the next objective. And that is good. Great news, it means we're still on track to have a good episode. Anyways, like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for... F shut up! Shut! Stop interrupting me! Shut up! 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 Oh my god. Shut up with the dialogue. All of you, shut up. All of you, shut up. Thank you. As... Oh.